Welcome, everyone. Oh my gosh, the music just died on me. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have it play in the background. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to Game Bite. It's Wednesday night, which means your favorite podcast is not on air right now, and you have to settle for us. Welcome to that <laughs> weekly episodic news download that happens around 9:30 at night here in Manila onwards. I am your host. I am Harold Sylvester. Welcoming you to the Quitslong Media Studio studio. And I got a bunch of co-hosts with me as always. I never do this show alone. And I thank them for it. Uh, let's start off with... Uh, who do we got? Who do we got? A guy who's got really good English. Apparently. I, I hear this from everyone. Right, he's, got, he's, he's good at English. He's actually subpar in American. But you know what? He's 100% genuine. Make a wish, ladies and gentlemen. It's Elgin. Jen. How you doing? Oh, where, where's he? Oh, there. How you doing, Elgin? <laughs> hi. What what is uh, what does subpar American mean exactly? Anyway, um, hi guys. <laughs> uh, welcome to the show. Um, it's good to be here. I'm real excited. We got lots to talk about tonight, and I'm real excited about what we're going to be talking about. And yeah, it's going to be a good show. If uh, if, if if our uh, if our one host won't stop talking about K-pop. Speaking of which. Ooh. We also have a we also have a new K-pop fan on the show. Um, he's really into it, and uh, he goes by many names. I, you know, and I don't know if I can even call him these names anymore since he chooses not to associate himself with those names. But we're gonna go. <laughs> we're just gonna go with our new K-pop fan, Diego Z. How's he doing, man? How you doing, my guy? Guys, I am descending down a rabbit hole of very bright colors, a very uh, <laughs> fabulous clothing that is K-pop. I just got into it, so if anyone in chat would like to recommend to me a few more tunes from these these bands called Twice, BTS, Astro, or whatever, I am open to it. I have an open mind, and I am willing to share my love of my future love K-pop with the world. Speaking of love, if you have been on his social <laughs> media recently, you have seen that this man, the la the other hosts on our show, has decided to experiment with a lot of things like certain vegetables certain very uh, certain um cylinder shaped vegetables <laughs> hop onto his facebook because <laughs> miko p loves to experiment with the vegetables miko p man how you doing i am doing great diego especially after that very fabulous successful experiment with these elongated vegetables that you were talking about but today we are going to be talking about like games, lots of games, and of course a bit of K-pop too earlier. And it's nice to hear you pick up a new hobby and really being passionate about it. But when it comes to passion, of course, I think uh, this man deserves what they call this. No, no further introduction because he's been running this show for very long. And that, until with that, I'm passing the what they call this, the baton back to Harold. How are you tonight, Harold? Oh. Oh, I, I love you. Sure I'm doing good, buddy. I'm doing great. I'm feeling good. I've uh, I've I've officially been talking nonstop for about four hours now. Oh, maybe more. No, it's been about five hours because of work. I've had presentations all day, and I can't wait to talk about video games. All right, I've talked about brand this. All right, I've talked about brand X and why it's better than brand Y. Okay, you guys remember all those old commercials. I've talked about why this soap makes that make that soap look like dirt, okay? Because this soap cleans, and that soap just makes your dishes dirtier. I've, I've done that all day. It's over now. Let's talk about video games. A lot of news today. A lot of news straight after Game Bite last week, and we're, we're kind of playing a little catch up. All right, we, we're going to talk about all that news in just a little bit. But how we start the show off the same time every week is I ask you guys. And this guy, and then that guy, and all of you guys at home playing the home game. What have you been playing? Let us know in the chat. And if you're listening to the podcast after the fact, tweet us at quit stalling us with a hashtag game. But Elgin, let's start with you, man. What have you been playing? Um, oh, well, my list of games hasn't changed a whole lot. Um, I'm still playing BPM. That game is so much fun, and it's a nice game that you can just kind of, you know, pick up and play and go a couple of levels before you die, and then you feel bad and start over. Um, but yeah, I'm still <laughs> playing that. 
Uh, the big one I've, I've been playing is um, Remnant from the Ashes, which is basically a Souls-like game, except with guns, right? And okay. um, yeah, Emily and I have been playing that nonstop. And we've been, I think our characters are like stupidly powerful in the game. And it's so much fun to play. Um, I highly recommend it if you guys have uh, a few bucks to spare. There's a lot of content to be had in that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's a lot of content to be had in this game. And I strongly recommend it if you like your dungeon crawly style um, uh, RPGs. And then last but not least, I recently picked up this game called Brigador, which is like a, a top down mech game, kind of in the same vein as, uh, I don't know if you folks remember this old game, um, Future Cop LAPD from on the PlayStation 1. Uh, it's okay. kind of it's kind of like that, but it's it's basically, you know, it, it's a basically a new game by an indie developer. It's like 12 bucks, I think, on Steam right now. So yeah, uh, it's it's a good buy. There's just so much to do in that game as well. Uh, but that's all for me. Uh, Jago, how about you? What have you been playing, my guy? I have, I finally got into the Among Us craze. Um, ah. Yeah, finally bit the bullet, decided to check out, check it out. And I refuse, just for funsies, I refuse to buy the mobile version because I don't support mobile gaming. <laughs> so I, did, I bought it on Steam. I bought it on Steam and then I'm glad that it's all cross, uh, cross platform and everything. But yeah, I've been having so much fun uh, playing with, you know, some of my friends in chat. Uh, and I've also been playing Sea of Thieves. So my $60 investment for that for Strug in a game has finally paid off because <laughs> I have people to play it with and it's fun. So I'm glad, I'm glad. Thank you, Rare. Thank you, Microsoft, for making that game fun because before, Jesus Christ, was it, was it, uh, it was a term for, it was a pirate term for something horrible. Uh, a pirate R. term? Yeah, because it's about pirates, you know. Scurvy. It was barnacles. <laughs> yeah, it was barnacles. Exactly. It was a tartar. <laughs> it was tartar sauce. <laughs> I had literally. I had to wait. I had to wait for the because when I bought the game and uninstalled it, I had to wait for the transition guy in SpongeBob to say, to say like, uh, a few years later, for it to actually be good. <laughs> so I'm glad the time has finally come and the game is great. So Sea of Thieves and Among Us. Pretty much what I've been playing. How about you, Miko? What have you been playing? Well, besides the aforementioned vegetables that you were talking about earlier. Uh, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my. I have been playing Ooh. Among Us too, and it taught me a great lesson in how to tolerate people because sometimes you really want to. <laughs> <They're so laughs> stupid. But. It turns out the stupid one is me because I'm bad at playing almost every role in the game and I just keep getting carried by teammates. So, yeah, a little bit of introspection right there. Other than that, I have been playing Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, uh, what no else is... way! Yeah, yeah, I mean, what, what else is new? That's the, one, that's the thing I also said last week. And uh, nothing much has changed. Maybe we upgraded my gear a little bit. Uh... <laughs> Upgraded my house a little bit, but yeah, nothing, nothing big on that oh, horizon. Wow, is that your house? No, unfortunately not. My house is a lot shabbier than that one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, other than that, it's uh, yeah, it's Tekken Seven and Auto Chess VNG for me. Uh, those are my side games. Just uh, when side I side games. You know, Nico, yeah, yeah, when I, I, when you I have a faithful uh, gamer. I'm faithful to all games <laughs> that I like. <laughs> But of course, uh, yeah, that's it for me. Uh, how about you, Harold? What have you been playing? Uh, I haven't really been able to play that much, admittedly. I've I've been lacking on the gaming front as the host of Game Byte and as a host of Game Byte. But I've still been finding joy out of Fall Guys because of the the remix levels. Uh, apparently, some cheaters have been making their way back into the game, but. Fortunately, I, I, I've i been avoiding them through work, <laughs> through the inability to play. But the times that I have been able to play, still, game of the year for me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this, despite all the AAA games you can throw my way, nothing will be as bigger value yet, at least, so far than Fall Guys. Something so simple... It has so much heart behind it, so much love from the developers. 
you know, DZ holding up that crown, little spoiler for our uh, upcoming video. <laughs> or, or is it? Or is it? Oh, we'll no. We'll figure it out. We'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> Sandbagging. bigger. Wow. Oh! Yeah. Elgin! We don't compare sizes here on game. <laughs> Not that kind of show. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, Fall Guys has been, you know, it's that easy pick up and play game that you can squeeze in in between like meals or, you know, uh, audio books, stuff like that. It, it's, it's a fun game that you can play when you have the time. Uh, aside from that, I've also been able to play a little bit of Football Manager, you know, continuing my save from last year because COVID. Uh, stadiums are unhealthily filled in this video game. I, I do not... I do not recommend it for for its accuracy because right now it's I'm filling up 60,000 people in a stadium, all right, or more. And I do not think that's something you should be doing right now. So even though my season is 2020 until 2021, not really that accurate in that sense. None of my players have gotten COVID yet either, so I don't, I'm, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that. Uh, aside from that, I think, I think that's all I've been playing. I've had a little bit of a Marvel's Avengers time, DZ, that we should talk about soon. I don't know if we have time today because I just realized we have so much news to talk about. We can, oh, we can save that yes. for next week. We can save that yeah, for next sure. week. If it's still it's relevant. A, that says a yeah. lot about it, though. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of true. Kind of true. But yeah, so aside from that, is, is, is anyone in chat been mentioning what they've been, what they've been playing, guys? Uh, uh, not yet. No. Okay, we'll, wait. We'll, we'll, we'll wait for it. We'll wait for it. But yes, guys, so much news to talk about, and uh, we might as well dive right into it. You guys ready? Yeah, boy, bring it. Let's I'm do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. All right, let's do it. <laughs> let's, let's talk about the news, people. The news. Oh. This Week in Video Games. Oh, that's right. And This Week in Video Games is brought to you by the Quitsline Geekcast. We didn't have a show last week, but this week we're back with a vengeance as we talk about The Boys Season 2. We also talk about Lovecraft Country and so much more on the Quitsline Geekcast. That's me, Sensei Humor, Derek O'Brien himself, and the chosen one, Wancho Soldana, who is a no-show for our internal Fall Guys tournament, you could be had to pick up the slack, and uh, you know what? It's all good. It's all good. Thanks for thanks for sandbagging me, could be. All right, guys, let's uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about the news. Who wants who wants to kick us off? We got uh, some Nintendo news, right, Mikupi? That is true. Uh, the Nintendo Di uh, Direct Mini Showcase has happened, and it brought about some really interesting titles. Here are just uh, you know, here's some of the big ones. There is, of course, Monster Hunter Rise. So for all of you Monster Hunter lovers out there, finally, yeah. we've, we have a Monster Hunter, or rather an updated Monster Hunter game on Switch. But I'm not, what do you call this? Uh, it's not too clear about how big the game will be or you okay. know, if it's comparable to Monster Hunter World. But again, it's very nice to, to just have a Monster Hunter game back again on a handheld. Right. And uh, speaking of Monster Hunter, there's also uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2, which is the Rings of Ruin. And uh, this got me skeptical at first because um, do we need this kind of Monster Hunter game. Uh, from what I see, it's um, an RPG and it's very much different from your traditional Monster Hunter storyline where you hunt the monsters. This time, it seems like the characters are, you know, being all friendly and cozy with the different wyverns that you saw in game. But okay. the more the more that I look at the trailer, and I want to get your opinion, guys, about this. Uh, the more it kind of draws me in, kind of kind of reminds me of those, uh, I don't know, probably Zelda games where there's exploration. Yeah. There's probably it's a got, great story underneath. Yep. It's got that. Uh, if Nintendo is using some kind of builder, you know, like a builder engine, it's it got that like Breath of the right? Wild. <laughs> it yeah, kind of does exactly. Yeah. So. I again, uh, or not again, but I'm, I'm mentioning this for the first time on the stream. I wasn't able to watch the Nintendo Direct Mini or the PlayStation 5 reveal from last week uh, for all the games. So uh, this is the first time I'm seeing all of these, and I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. I if you didn't tell me it was Monster Hunter, I wouldn't have been able to tell the difference. Uh, yeah, it's true, but with actually. that, right? But with that being said, 
it looks like a fun game. I, I kind of wish Pokemon was this interactive with its environment because I don't know. Sword and Shield look great, but this is kind of like the monster experience I was expecting from a Nintendo Switch title. Uh, yeah, that is true. And I guess, uh, you know, if, if anything, it's probably a good jump into the world of Monster Hunter from different perspective, at least for the younger audience, if that is their thing. And also... You're, you're uh, calling me young? You're calling me a young audience? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was referring to you too, too. <laughs> sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, the next game that I, I saw was uh, probably the most hyped so far. It's called Fitness Boxing 2, Rhythm and Exercise. Oh, baby. Oh, what? Get into the ring. <laughs> I had no idea there's a Fitness Boxing 1. But yeah, there's this game that uh, helps you train. And of course, this is much more important now more than ever because we have no excuse to not work out while we're locked here at home and get this the one of their new features is that there are three more trainers including one that's named karen so if you, oh. <laughs> so if you want one that is your dream <laughs> to box to get trained by a karen then of course this is the game for you get other than true. that uh, what do you call this other than that uh okay in all seriousness i really like how this game is looking in in the yeah. sense that sometimes uh what do you call this you know the ring fit exercise sometimes it's just not for you as well as the other games and boxing okay. as always has been a good workout you know in car oh it's true in especially in terms of cardio a yeah. lot of people um recommend it legit so, no, yeah. like uh, when, when i took sports more seriously my trainer was saying that mm -hmm. uh he had never been more fit than when he was doing boxing and i took that as kind of a Okay, it has to be that good because this dude was legit fit. So, yeah, uh, this is really cool. And this is, sorry, Miko B, this is called Fitness Boxing 2? It's called, yeah, Fitness Boxing 2. And that's the number two. It's a sequel, not T-O-O. -O. It's a sequel. Yeah. Okay, okay. Just making sure. Rhythm Just and exercise. Sure. Okay. Okay, so, uh, yeah, boxing aside, there is, of course, this guy, this guy at six for the fans of that franchise. Uh, defiance of destiny so it's mm -hmm. more this you know, traditional this guy craziness where uh, you start off with you know a uh, simple story and then suddenly it blows up and that includes the damage numbers as well it's boasting a level cap of i think one trillion so if you like big numbers what? and big damage and yeah exactly like right <laughs> what what so yeah crazy yeah, if you want, if you want a crazy story, crazy characters, crazy damage, and all around uh, tactical fun, then this would be a game for you. Um, uh, big damage guess, energy. Yeah, big damage energy. Definitely big damage energy. <laughs> I am just a bit taken aback by the transition from because the last this guy game I played was like uh, 2D, and uh, okay. the transition to 3D is just kind of new. But that's just probably me. Still, it's it looks a lot of fun. It does look like a lot of fun, and again, it's it's not what you were expecting from a Switch title, but I think in a good way. I I kind of like this from the outside looking in. Again, as someone who's played the Switch very casually, I I, I kind of like it. I, I don't yeah. think I I don't think it's a game that I'd be like, all right, I gotta get it now. But if it was in my vicinity, if someone bought it in a household that I'm residing in, I'd be like, yeah, let me let me try that. Let me let me get my hand on that. <laughs> All right, uh, so after that, there was the Empire of Sin, which is based from based from the trailer. It seems like a what they call this a top-down isometric uh, yep. mob boss simulator RPG of sorts. I mean, the trailer reminds me very much of those uh, noir movies, and mm -hmm. it's basically about yeah, it's just mob bosses fighting each other for control of the city, and it's a bit of a refreshing theme. It's very rare to see some kinds, uh, this kinds of games on the, this kind of games on the Switch, where it, yeah. you know, it's more serious, it's more mature, and yeah, it caters to a more mature audience. And of course, it's a very, how do you say it? It's kind of unique. You don't see mob games much often, other than those meme, you know, crime boss level ninety nine uh, <laughs> stuff that crime you see online. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like the mafia games, maybe. Your Clayton's. Your Clayton's, Miko. Clayton's. 
Dude, I would. Oh man, the stereotypical <laughs> '20s gangster simulator. I'd be. Oh wow. Yeah, actually, yeah. It looks I, dope. Okay. Yeah. I think that's a perfect word for you, like gangster simulator. So yeah, that's the Empire of Sin. <laughs> After that, it's. I think Diego. I think uh, I'd like to get Diego's opinion on this one because he's uh, he loves first-person shooters. And of course, LG as well. This mm-hmm. is they have Sniper Elite uh, Four for the Nintendo Switch. Hmm. So. It's looking great, considering that it's on a handheld. But I have my doubts about you know playing FPS on handheld because I don't have experience on this. So maybe you yeah. guys can enlighten me on it's you know how good is it. Before I mean... you enlighten anyone, DZ, Uh-oh. I just want to give <laughs> an enormous shout out to Human Panda Twenty Two for his two year sub, baby. Hey. Oh, hey. Two, two years, years. Right. four. Kobe, baby, Kobe. That's legit. Thank you so much, Human Panda. That's something to celebrate, guys, because Human Panda is one of the first people to believe in us so much that he actually clicked the subscribe button when it was available. Not many <laughs> people wanted to, all right? There's a lot of hesitation going into that, but Human Panda 22, not just easy, not just subscribing, but gifting subscriptions as well. So a huge shout out to HP over there in, in a CDO. Thank you so much, Nate. All right. And he's been streaming a lot recently. So if you guys haven't had a chance to check out his stream, it's twitch.tv slash humanpanda22. Very entertaining, very engaging, sometimes at the cost of his own life. All right. Back to the show. DZ, you were about to enlighten us on first person shooters. Okay. Well, I've never played any of the Sniper Elite games um any of the franchise games uh and the, there are only like two games i've two or three games i've ever played on console that were that were fps games i'll still mm-hmm. say that fps is still far superior on the pc which is okay. for comfortability but there have been a lot of games that have you know changed the gaming you know the games industry because of being on, because of how well they did it on the console specifically goldeneye perfect dark and halo and those are the three that i've played so putting sniper elite on a console how i've always seen sniper elite is just i just like seeing the bullet go through the, the head the x-ray vision but <laughs> yeah. nothing else so i really yeah. can't say like yeah. that's all i want yeah. so i guess in a sense yes you know it's it is always nice i mean the switch in itself is always good to have it around and the fact you can bring any game around so if i just want to pop ahead and see an x-ray bullet go through you can even see them go through the balls they're nuts <laughs> i've seen those and too. it's like wow this is pretty cool why not so yeah. if it's well that's my perception of sniper relief sniper elite so if that's what it is yeah on the switch why not x-ray vision on their nuts why not? Why not? <laughs> That's so important, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What else, what could go wrong? And can, and can I mention? Yeah. This specific series of games has spawned countless copycats on the iOS store, on Google oh. Play. You know, there, there's a lot of these games in the that Time be, Zone Arcade. Time Zone Arcade. <laughs> right. You know, or or any of your local arcades. You know, yeah. it's. There's something about it that's satisfying, right? Like like a good old wrestling game, or a, in a for a, I don't know what else to compare it to, like a sports game. There's something yeah. about the feel of when you press a button and you you get that bullet coming out of the barrel and straight into the skull, and you see the X-ray. Like you know you that's what you expect to happen. There's something about that, and Sniper yeah. Elite has has that feel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now that it's on Twitch, it's great. Yeah. Well, I mean, what I can say about Sniper Elite myself is, I mean, I played this game and I think this is, I I mean, I think it's a pretty good title on the Switch. Uh, It's a, it's definitely a port from a, you know, from the other consoles and, you know, current gen, uh, current gen tech. Um, But I think it lends itself well to the mobile or at least to, to the Switch because it's, it's mostly a single player shooter experience. And yeah, I mean, I I can, it's a lot of fun. I don't think it's a bad thing it's on the switch you know so okay so moving on from uh, sniper elite 4 we go next to the long dark which is an exploration survival game and mm-hmm. i think they're boasting a permadeath uh mode so it just uh simply what they call this uh raises the stakes 
a little bit. So if you're into uh, survival games, then it's good to know that there's at least one entry on the Switch. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, it's it's looking nice. The the atmosphere is really you know bland, but. No, not bland. Uh, sorry. <laughs> that, <laughs> but rather, that's not the word I would have chosen. <laughs> that's the word um, I was looking for. <laughs> not nicely <laughs> polished. <laughs> not even. Un- because the atmosphere is... Hindi pa nalagay na asin, tsaka pepper. Oh my god. The atmosphere is heavy. Is what I, I would say. Ah, that's okay, what okay. I want to say. Uh, like, you really feel like you're alone gloomy. They're, they're gloomy. Thank you, Bimo. Blend. Yeah, <laughs> Blend. <laughs> okay. So moving on to that, of course, if you're a fan of golf games, then you'll be happy to know that there's a PGA Tour 2K, uh, 2K21 that's also coming out on the Switch. So if you like golf or miss the golf course because you play golf in real life, then it's probably the game that you <laughs> will want to uh, <laughs> take. So I'm assuming um, anyone here plays golf? Yes. Wow. I, I, wow, there's a not me. No, no? okay, <laughs> okay. Let's move on. So we also Fine. have. <laughs> wow! Finally, someone did it, and it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, <laughs> but I mean, come on. I mean, you you put balls in holes. How 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 okay? How, how, how I'll tell you. How, have you? Have you ever hit a ball with an iron? Yeah. The, oh, uh, baby. I tried, I, I tried a driving range. I tried it. Yes. I tried a driving range once. There is satisfaction about it. But growing up, uh, I came to realize that golf is more about, you know, making business connections rather than actually playing. Thank you. It is. <laughs> yeah, admit, it, though, it like, absolutely is. <laughs> I, I don't have a, like, I, I don't play every weekend. Like, I don't have a, like, I don't remember the name of my caddy. I don't have those things. I don't care which club I use. Whoa, you name your caddy? <laughs> no, but, of course the caddies have names. <laughs> wait, wait. I was I thinking know. about the, 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 the things where you put the golf clubs Oh in. my God, that's a golf bag. <laughs> Okay. You <laughs> monster. <laughs> oh, you horrible human. Just kidding. So, no, I'm just going to say like no, the thing with the what was the point of shit? What was the point of it? The thing with the thing with golf, okay? I'm not on that level, okay? I, I will agree yes, it is for business meetings. Golf is a businessman's game, but there are those times for me how I see golf, it's really just a friends thing as much as we play games. If you're not caring about making business deals, golf is the most satisfying thing ever. Because once you hit that ball in the sweetest spot of the iron, like let's put it in physical terms, all right? So when you hit the ball, Mika, I'm sure you felt it. When you hit, or anyone who's played golf for at least once, when you hit yep. the ball, you feel the the the, the impact the on your clubs and your yeah. hands, the vibrations. You feel so bad, so hard here. Okay, <laughs> that's normal. But once, but thing is. That'll happen. That's, that always happens even to me. But like once you hit it in the in the perfect spot, <laughs> and you don't feel anything, that the G just Ram said in chat the G spot when you hit the G spot just right, Jesus Christ, it feels so good. You know that it, it's better than a headshot. It's better than an ace in Valor. It's better than a team kill in Overwatch. It is the best thing ever that makes hitting a ball this small and going after it <laughs> again after 300 yards it makes it all worth it but it okay. is yes the probably the dumbest thing ever logically speaking but oh my god does it hitting that g spot feel so good <laughs> all Just right I, that part <laughs> to that one sentence please <laughs> yeah i i totally I think I can totally empathize with what uh, Diego feels. There is also a similar thing to uh, tennis or uh, table tennis, where there's a very specific spot in those, uh, you know, in those tools, the sports equipment, that makes the game feel good in a whole new level. Uh, personally, for me, after the driving range, someone just complimented, you know, the form that I did, and I was like, "Wow, I'm doing it right. It feels good." But yeah, golf games in 2021. Don't worry about it. You will have your uh, own version on the Switch. Okay, <laughs> moving uh, past golf. 
but before we move on, Harold, okay, you okay? Talking about golf? Are you are you good, Harold? Are you? <laughs> yeah, the golf the golf part is over now. You you can uh, you can, can come can out you... now. <laughs> I, I thought the golf part was over a long time ago. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh man. Okay, we good. Uh, also, it's a magical sport. I don't even. Well, actually, is it? Does it count as a sport? Oh <laughs> uh, no, let's not. Let's not go down let's that rabbit hole. <laughs> hey, it's like calling is 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 video games a sport? <laughs> is Gangnam Style K-pop? I mean, yes. we're, we're we're doing this again. <laughs> Wait, now that we have Ram in chat and we have new people in chat, I we need to ask, okay, everyone everyone in chat, number one, is Cape is Gangnam style K pop and is 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 video games a sport and is golf a sport? A sport. Yes. So those are the okay. three questions chat has to answer. Yeah, really deep questions. So moving on from golf, finally. <laughs> that was so unexpected. Uh yeah, we have we also have Hades now on the Switch. So it's an action RPG roguelite that of course has a lot of replay value and I have some friends who were playing it on Steam and they are just so raving about it. It just looks so good. The action is very fluid. There is quite a depth to it. So yeah, yeah they're uh, simply having Panda, a lot of fun. I've seen, I think I've seen you, Nikopi, and Human Panda playing it on Steam the past week. Yep, so... Was that you? Just... Was that you, Nikopi? Probably not me, but I was watching uh, some of the Panda. friends stream on Discord about it. And yeah, it yeah. just looks so smooth. And now, the great thing about this is it's now on a handheld. So no need to go to your computer. You can just wake up every morning, get your, you know, play play Hades and then have a good... Uh, have where a where good, else uh, is it available? Uh, it's on Steam. Original Steam shit. Yeah. I, I've, been, I've been hearing a lot about it as well from my friend of mine who has a Switch. Like, Hades is one of the games on his list. And uh, yeah, other than that, there is of course the Balan Wonder World, which is how do I say this? I think it's an adventure platform it's adventure eccentric. game that is very cute, and it has this very unique mechanic, wherein your abilities are defined by what costumes that you unlock, by the costumes that you unlock in the game. So there are around 80 costumes in the game, and the great thing about this uh, this interesting concept is that there is a co-op mode wherein you and your friend can wear a different costume and then their abilities oh. will complement each other as you try to, uh, you know, just go through the world and beat up the bosses probably at the end. Dude, uh, this is so... like, this is like a different take on Mega Man. I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> liking this. Look at so that. yeah, it's a really enhanced Mega Man with, I mean, it's just colorful. I guess it will appeal a lot to the kids, but personally, as, a, you know, as, a, as an adult, um, it's this oh. is probably a hard pass for me, but I can understand its appeal for the younger audience. I see the I see the whole Mega Man. What you were saying with the Mega Man thing? Yeah, it looks it looks difficult. It's, it's, I feel like this is one of those games that would frustrate me when I was younger. Because <laughs> it, it looks kiddie, but like I'm sure there's platformer. Like yeah, Pla Alan oh yeah, platformer. There we go. I, I mean, this is this is made by the guys behind um, the original Sonic, wasn't it? Like. Like the, the old Sonic team, wasn't it? Is it okay? Is I, it? I think so. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, that's like their. It's their new thing, basically. They're, like they're trying to go back to the Knights in the Dreams. Like it's the Knights in the Dreams aesthetic that they used to go for back in, oh god, the Dreamcast era, or even before that. Like, it's, yeah, it's published by Square Enix. Oh, is oh, oh, I mean, yeah, it is. But like, the team came from like yeah. the old Sonic, the oh, OG so Sonic experience. Yeah. Over Essentially, scale. yes. yes. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> okay, so okay, it's, I'm digging yeah. this. I'm digging. <laughs> you this. like it? Yeah. I mean, it looks cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm personally not the mm -hmm. the type to play, you know, platformers as like like Nico P would say because I'm an adult. But like, it's I mean, it's very visually appealing nonetheless, right? Like, look yeah. at this. It's it's pretty. Yeah, it's, it's super interesting. I like that you can we, have, we have a couple more games. Oh, sorry, sorry, DZ, what's that? Thing is, like, based on like the videos I'm seeing, it's like it, as long as you can jump and shoot. Yeah, let's, let's work it. Mega, <laughs> it's Man. Mega, Man. <laughs> Mega Man, jump and shoot, jump and shoot, <laughs> jump and shoot. Okay, so right, about... we got a couple more games. Let's round things out here for Nintendo. All right, so I was talking about how as an adult I wouldn't play anything that looks like 
a kitty game or a game catered for the younger audience. But this one, I will make an exemption because this is Rune Factory 5. <laughs> oh my oh, god, Rune five? Factory? So yeah, there's a new Rune Factory on the Nintendo Switch. It is mm. yeah, it is a brand new look. It's a, it has a brand new battle system. I'm sorry. And it probably looks like brand Pokemon. new ways of dating. <laughs> Oh, it's not. Trust it's me. Pokemon, but trust, but trust me, you will not be doing Pokemon things. You will be doing I'm a lot farming. of, uh, I guess, hoeing, farming. <laughs> hoeing. Whoa, whoa! Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> interesting choice of words. <laughs> I forgot what it's called, but you know, pick axing the ground or whatever. You mean plowing, dude? <laughs> oh, plowing. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay, so yeah. That look- uh, that was an example of the battle system. Depending on your partner, wow. it seems like you have different attacks. It is much more flashier now. The world seems a lot bigger. And hopefully the romance is a lot deeper than, you know, just two characters uh, getting together after you gave them, I don't know, a bunch of uh, vegetables like in the past Rune Factory games. So I'm really looking forward to this one. And of course, this is probably the title I'm most excited about. This is Ori yeah, and the Ori. Will of the Wisp. This is art in a video <laughs> game. That's all that I can say about it. It is so beautiful as a platformer. You would not expect that. Yeah, you know, just look at it. It's like a moving. Uh, it's like a moving painting. I don't know how I else agree. to describe it. Maybe you can. You guys can help me out here. I mean, no, yeah, that's, moving that's, painting. That's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, so, Ori is just so it's so it's so fun to watch like it's so pretty you know <laughs> pretty yeah. Yeah. yeah and if you guys yeah. can't wait for the switch version just get it on steam like that's true yeah that's right but like we like what you're seeing it's i'm glad that like nintendo's really opening their doors to indie titles because i mean i'd love playing platformers on a on you know on a switch why wouldn't we? I, I love playing i love the switch period right yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. waiting for someone to acknowledge my right, right? I mean, it is. Yes, yes, right. yes, yeah, yes. Right. very much. Bro, right? Bro, bro, bro. bro. <laughs> okay, I guess that rounds it up, Harold, for the Nintendo side of things, right? It does round it up, Harold Miku P. I'm excited for what the Switch has got going on. <laughs> but we also. <laughs> but we also have a bunch of titles from a, a different console. Miko, that uh, we're going to go through a little bit. Guys, let's, let's, let's find a couple of top picks that we found interesting from the PlayStation 5 showcase that happened six days ago as well, just like a Nintendo Direct Mini. So uh, any, any particular title stand out for, for everyone? Because aside from a really weird PlayStation trailer that I saw involving boats, the what? <laughs> you guys not see oh, that boats uh, boats no boats? no no, no. Boats? i haven't yeah boats. you go ahead and look it up yeah because i mean as far as what happened in the events concerned the game i'm looking forward to is demon souls remake like oh yeah that game mm. looks okay. beautiful okay. <laughs> you know how you know how people are always like a oh, dark soul is the hardest game and like or everything you know they're, they're they like dark souls fans little do these people know that you do know there was Demon Souls, right? Before everything. Right. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, not many people even know about that, about Demon Souls. Like Dark Souls 1. You no, know, Dark Souls 1 was Demon Souls. Noob. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But I mean, from the ground up, man, like this is this is what you would call a glow up, you know what I mean? Like from its like humble beginnings on the PlayStation 3 look at this look what it has become you know what i mean and the animate like when i saw the the uh character do a backstab or a parry riposte animation for the first time during this you know during this trailer Mm -hmm. it blew my mind because i was like oh god this this is next gen this is what next gen looks like you know what i mean Uh, elgy correct me if i'm wrong i also saw like during the gameplay trailer that Mm -hmm. Uh, you know how in in dark souls like when you you're technically in an any action game you're technically just swinging at a huge boss's legs correct but in Mm -hmm. this one i could have sworn i saw the character swinging like okay when you press square or triangle attack you'll swing in front but this one it was targeting the chest so it you saw the character actually going for the stomach instead of just hitting the legs like swinging upwards towards 
the center of the enemy. Oh, yeah. And I don't think that's because there's like some targeting thing going on in Demon Souls. It's more of because, you, you know, when you target in like a Souls-like game, there's a reticle that, you know, that is placed on an enemy. And usually, I mean, in the case of fighting the Vanguard, which was that big thick boss guy that he was fighting, the reticle is actually on its chest. So, so it, it, you know, if you're at that close to the, if you're that close to the Vanguard, since the reticle's on his chest, he's gonna be swinging upwards. Yeah. But so they have not, that detail. Yeah, it's it's not like there's like weak spots or anything like that. It's just because the targeting is center mass. And oh, there he's doing it now. Forward. He's doing it now. Yeah. Nice, yeah. smart. Yeah, I mean, if he, if there was targeting on the legs, yeah, he'd probably target the legs. But like I said, the target is usually the center of whatever it is you're attacking. So that's why he was swinging upwards at close range. Yeah, so good, good, nice attention to detail for that one. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just watch, like, just watch, watching all of the effects and oh, the Tower Knight doing Tower Knight things. Oh, it's so cool. Oh yeah, watching that is so brutal too. <laughs> Oh, I can't. I just can't. I can't wait for this game. And I'm glad it's coming out on PC because I hate to say it, I don't think I'm getting I'm getting a PS5 this year. <laughs> yeah, by choice I, or by uh because by the inability. I, uh because I am making the jump to PC Master Race, that's why. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's what we're yes. talking yes. about. You See you when yeah. Fall Guys land, baby. Yeah. I mean, yes. yeah. I also like the touch bit at the end where they actually killed off the, the what they call this, the character. <laughs> yeah. So you oh, really yeah. know that it's Demon Souls. It, oh yes, it would have die. been a very different feeling if you know they cleared the boss and just move on to the yeah. title screen. But yeah, yeah. that it, one, that kind of cemented it, the whole thing. Yeah, because it's interesting because that's the boss you're supposed to die to at the start of the game. Like that's the first boss they throw you into. <laughs> unless you're a you know? speedrunner. <laughs> unless yeah, of course, unless you're a speedrunner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, actually, I think as a speedrunner, you'd want to die to that one because there's just more shit after you fight him. You know what I mean? Oh, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, it's in the Dark Souls run that you, yes. you kill the first boss. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Well, hey. I'm, I'm glad you guys have found some nostalgia revamped. Mm. All right. Remastered and uh, remade. But uh, yeah. for me, it's a, it's a spin. It's a twist. It's a little shock to the system of a more recent game. And that's uh, Spider-Man oh, Miles man. Morales. Yeah, this looks uh, dope I, as well. Dude, it looks great. It looks so good. You, yeah. You're Spider-Man, but you got lightning, staticky, sh 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 powers. All right, it's 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 legit, and uh, it it explores more of the combat style of Miles Morales with, again, his 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 electric shock powers. I forgot what it's called, and yeah, it really differentiates him from Peter Parker. Uh, he also has that little stealth thing that he just did on screen if you guys are watching the video feed. And I thoroughly enjoyed seeing the gameplay because of the fact that, you know, it, you're, you're always going to compare his, his fighting style to the original Spider-Man in the first game. But at the same time, it looks like they're taking steps to make it feel fresh and, and not just tell a different story with the Spider-Man mechanics and skin. Which yeah. is... Which is pretty cool. I, I enjoy that. I love Miles. And, you know, being brown, I love him innately. <laughs> you know, be, being someone <laughs> of color. Yeah. I, I enjoy seeing more of his story. And, and that's part of why Spider-Verse kind of rang so true to me. But I'm sad that it's a PlayStation exclusive like the last one was. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, more Spider-Man is more better. And right, yeah. Yeah, and, and this looks like just another installment in in great single player games that EA thought we'd never want again. Yeah, so, right. Oh <laughs> yeah. Right. At the end of the day, my biggest takeaway from this was suck it, EA. No, uh, I, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> don't, don't take it back, man. Yeah. Don't take it back. Don't take it back. No, I don't, I don't yeah. want to cheapen the the impressiveness of of, of what uh, Insomniac and PlayStation are doing. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it looks, it looks super good. Uh, any of the games that's... Oh, sorry, sorry, Elgin, go. I was, yeah, I was just gonna say, like, this Spider-Man is basically like the last Spider-Man, except with, like, fancy particle effects. And it's... I'm not saying that as a shot against Miles Morales, but, like, it just means they've gone they've gone for more. You know what I mean? They, yes. they're, they're, 
they're pushing the envelope with a game that has already pretty much come out and it looks phenomenal you know what i mean yeah 100 <laughs> percent yeah. agree i really do and yeah. yeah i mean you would think that okay they'd rest on the laurels and just give us another peter parker but no they, they, they've really mm -hmm. yeah they, they've given us more and that's more than we've seen on the screen because again we haven't really explored his fighting style in oh yes yeah in in pop pop culture so i'm i'm, I'm pretty happy about this uh there have been shouts from notorious kgm about other games uh have you guys uh, do you guys relate to any of those we can bring that trailer up next um I mean, Cyberpunk and Horizon weren't on the um, on the PlayStation Five event, but I'm certainly oh, looking yeah. forward to both of them for sure. Agreed. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so, as as we as you guys think about what else you wanna you wanna highlight from the showcase, <laughs> this what he said is the trailer I'm talking about. This is the video I'm talking about. I'm gonna play a little. Wait, you know what? I'm gonna play audio. From this it's not God of War. <laughs> <laughs> This is guy. not the greatest piece of media material ever created. Okay, we'll, we'll do God of War and maybe a little Hogwarts too. But, uh... Mm, yes. Check this out. Check this out. So this is it's Guy in a Boat. It's the Guy in a Boat. And then you can hear the who in the background. The who? Like a... Like a... Covered version of... Out here in the field. Yeah. Uh, teenage what is this? Oh, this it's is interesting. It, okay. As this thing, as it plays in the background, guys. Let me let me turn down the bed music so it doesn't clash. To me, this was just someone at Sony or the PlayStation division saying, "Guys, we have seven bajillion dollars. How can we spend it in under forty-five seconds?" <laughs> <And> <laughs> Because that is how long this video is. And it is it has nothing to do with the PlayStation. It has nothing to do with the experience that you'll get when you get a PS5. Aside from the fact that it says play has no limits at the end. I don't I don't know what that was. Oh my god. Yeah, PlayStation's just flexing. But that's that's all you know, it is. They're, you know? they're poking fun at the flat earthers. Because instead of falling, they, they, they just went through. Dude. Wow. I, 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 was, time, guys. I was thinking this that would have been the, what they call this? The ultimate boat crossover game that would settle, you know. Ooh, anywhere dude, in this, World of Warships yeah. versus Sea of Thieves versus, uh, I, I don't know what, I can't think of any other. Uh, black, and then, and then it would be a fighting game. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> CZP in chat actually says that it, if anything, it agrees with the flat Earth. It's because there was the end of the Earth. Oh. <laughs> so at the oh, end of the Earth is PlayStation. Thank you. Confirmed. <laughs> Confirmed. PlayStation's the end of the Earth. <laughs> I, I could get behind that. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> but oh my god, you know what they should have done? It's, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm not too hot on the song they used. They should have used the Baywatch song. Uh, what? <laughs> Yeah! Harold, can you play that song again? Can you play the video again? Play the Baywatch intro at the same time. We'll do it in the after show so we and don't get flagged. So I, I was really worried. The doctors. And you see like Will, yeah. Will, Will Hasselhoff, was it? Uh, David uh, Hasselhoff. David Will Hasselhoff. <laughs> <laughs> Will Dasovich. I was thinking Will Dasovich. Dasovich. <laughs> Sorry, David Hasselhoff. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Right? Oh man. Uh, Baywatch right. Nights. Ooh, okay. Okay, I'm I'm digging it, Sheezy. I'm digging it. Uh Ram and Cheesy were agreeing earlier, guys, that the song reminds them more of CSI than anything else. And I I, I, I do agree. I the do CSI agree. Miami one? The yeah! Hey. <laughs> 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 you used to have you that were supposed to give me a pun before before you do oh yeah sound. yeah yeah um <laughs> well we can say like i guess sony did prove that the earl is flat yeah <laughs> no do, do, no do, do, no do, do, no high do, fives do, do. no it needs to it needs to be a, a real good pun you know what? Oh, okay fine fine i mean you gotta work harder I mean, you, you gotta work harder you gotta you could say that the xbox launches Dead on arrival. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> <laughs> no! 
<laughs> oh, I got one, I got one, I got one. Wait, hold on. Let me get chains. Oh, he's going out of his way to grab chains. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're really, we're really going hard on this that. joke, you guys. He's re- okay, uh, he's working too hard. Uh, he's, <laughs> she's, she's in the chat. Earlier was saying uh, that it's supposed to be hype, right? It's supposed to be oh, kind of like brand yeah. building for for Sony and PlayStation, but it really just misses the mark. You know, like I don't, I do not. Okay, okay, where are I we do. good? All right, so based on this is kind of a compliment to what Elgin said. So you can say that the Xbox launch fell flat. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not so good the, enough. You know, the, I, the, I like the it. Fo- I like it. <laughs> all, all the folks, all the folks on the audio only. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> like I waited for that. <laughs> no, <I'm okay. laughs> oh, wow. Hey, oh, like man, not me. I felt that dude social di- I gotta need a sensu bean for that one shit. <laughs> oh! Well DZ, something that would or already has sparked joy in your life is uh something that probably Ragnar rocked your world when when this came on screen. Woohoo! Here Glad we go. you don't have shades for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like this this trailer didn't even show a single bit of gameplay. It didn't show anything but the symbol and that it was instead of red because m- more often than not when you see that symbol tease it's usually red. So this is the first time that it's a different color. It is blue. It is cold because when Ragnarok comes everything is frozen over. And yes, God of War Ragnarok is coming. So I will again just like I did for God of War 2018. I will buy the game first. And then find someone to borrow a PS5 from. Okay. Right. Okay. Why not? And, then, <laughs> and I don't. Uh, I mean, and this is definitely on purpose because we see your your Mongander or uh, <laughs> or uh, the the giant snake that eats that supposedly eats the world during Ragnarok there on screen as the as the logo. You know, mm-hmm. the, the face and the mouth. Is that did I say that right? Your 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 Mong your uh, uh, Jormungand. Yeah. Jormungand. Yeah. Yeah, Jormungand. 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 Uh, Jormungand. That's what I say when I'm surprised. Yeah. Jormungand. Uh, Jormungand. Yes. So, yeah. A lot of subtle and not so subtle hints here. And, you know, after DZ enjoyed his playthrough and started yelling Loki uh, during Game Bite, uh, it was. It was it was it was it was inevitable that this would happen, right? It was inevitable that we would get uh, this 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 level of a follow up. To would you call it a sequel, DZ? Uh, the the most recent God of War. Well, as a, you know, that is a well, technically yes, it is a sequel because it still follows the same protagonist, but not a sequel to the first trilogy. Not a direct sequel. Not a direct. Not a direct sequel, yeah. Okay. Okay. Which is Excellent. the biggest meta move Santa Monica Studios ever did. <laughs> I mean, it's all about subversion these days, and at least that one was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, unlike Game of Thrones. Okay. Uh, this game <laughs> caught my eye for only for the fact that I thought we were kind of over this world because of Twitter, specifically J.K. <laughs> Rowling's Twitter. And oh, apparently no. we're, getting a, we're getting a Harry Potter universe Hogwarts RPG. <sighs> a couple of years too late. I know. But uh, uh, some people are super excited about this, and I'm not one to burst the bubble. If this turns out to be what saves the franchise, then I, I say go for it, right? Because it can't get any worse right now. I mean, oh, God. It's such a weird conflict of interest, though, you know? Like... I want, I like to be fair. I want, I love the world of Harry Potter. Just J.K. Rowling, man. Like it's such a oh man. To be fair, Warner Brothers has confirmed that um, J.K. Rowling has little to no part in in like yes. the development of this game. Yeah. However, they will neither confirm nor deny whether or not she's getting royalties from it. So it's well, like she's definitely getting royalties. I mean, yeah. if, if she wasn't, yeah, they would say it outright, right? They would exactly. say it outright. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's like. <sighs> Man, 
I, I, I love the world of Harry Potter. I just don't want to support J.K. Rowling. You know, it's it's such a shame. Yeah, it's, it's such it's, a real shame. That's I guess right. it's okay if they don't include anything in terms of like, just don't include anything from the books in terms of characters. Just oh, make yeah. a whole new because, you, like you said, the world is so rich. The world is so developed. Just make a new story from it, like what oh, they yeah. do with Star Wars. And I mean that appears to be the case for this game too, because it's set in the 1800s, so 200 years before actual events of Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. so, and yeah, I mean, oh man, <laughs> it, it looks it looks really nice though. Like I I hate that it's only like a trailer that doesn't really show gameplay, but at the same time, like what I see so far, I like. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's, they're uh, going, uh, it's a difficult they're going thing the to... a KOTOR route, right? They're going the Knights of the Old Republic route, where they're going into uncharted territory. That's why yeah. the tagline is, uh, what was it? Live the Unwritten, which is pretty cool. Oh. I'm, I'm kind of down with that. Oh, it's uh, right. yeah. it's, oh, sorry, you were saying something. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, just to add to Elgin's point, it's very difficult to separate the, the art from the artist. So, yes. And in the case of yeah. this one, it, yeah, it doubly makes it more difficult because, especially if the game turns out to be good, would you? Oh, yeah. uh, it brings out a very interesting dilemma. And I think personally, um, personally, I'd probably get it if the game is really polished and good, because finally, I think if this turned out to be um, an RPG, or like, or better yet, an MMO, uh, I think. That's the right way to go about the world, right? Uh, the world of Harry Potter right now, because it is pointless to actually milk the original novels at this point. Oh, it's yeah. long forgotten, and it just harkens back into you know the issues with the author. <laughs> so, yep, it's either they move the timeline forward, like you know years after the original cast or the original story, or I guess they made a better decision here to move back because yes. the. What they call this the history of Hogwarts has been a bit of a black hole, like af beyond true, uh, what what is told in the books and you know the the mentions here and there in the other in the other stories. So yeah, it's it's a good thing that they've decided to explore this timeline instead. And when I when I was watching the trailer, I had to check when Hogwarts was established to make sure that it checks out. So, oh yeah, yeah, no retcons, no retcons. Yeah, and, and I'm glad to say that yeah, it's in a very safe timeline. The 1800s. I mean, Hogwarts was established somewhere around 900, I think. Oh, so it's ancient. And, yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah. this one is at the 1800s, so there's a lot of uh, yeah, lots of possibilities here. Hopefully, it yeah. turns out great, and uh, so we can forget about rolling and everything else and just enjoy the game. Yeah. Yeah. It would actually, I think it would be good. A good another kind of kind of good rpg because like I, I don't know i don't know anything about harry potter i'm more of like a you know lord of the rings kind of guy middle earth <laughs> yo so maybe they can do well with a different kind of skill trees you can you can have builds like based on whatever oh, yes. kind of wizard you are if you're mm -hmm. the the offensive one if you're the one who just levitates stuff if you're the one who just transforms things into whatever I yep. feel like I'm gonna insult so many Harry Potter fans. Out there. No, no, no! You're, you're actually. Am I, I kind of right? You're definitely the yeah, offensive you... one in this case. Oh, yeah. So, but I am not yet doing it intentionally. I'm just doing it out of ignorance. So. No. no. And to, to be fair, you're on point. Like there are many schools of magic within the world of Harry Potter. So yeah, you're absolutely right. Go on. Yeah. So yeah. There, so they could do that. That that would be interesting to play. I, I don't even like. Think about it, even if it wasn't Harry Potter. Yeah. That would be a good concept. And I think, you know, uh, Silfox and Chat points it out pretty well is that they don't mention any Harry Potter anywhere in the trailer. It's just Hogwarts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I'm getting from this, though, is that Cambridge is still older than Hogwarts. Oh. <laughs> if, we're, if we're only going until 1800, I'm still, I'm still rooting for Cambridge to be the oh oldest my institution oh my God. in the world. <laughs> Cambridge, right. <laughs> Cambridge, man. Cambridge was established in the 1200s. All right, so g give me Hogwarts in 1100 and, and we'll talk. All right, let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's see how things happen there. No, legitimately, though, that, that's, that's interesting. And again, like with Star Wars these days, it's hard to, to see the light. But hopefully, the people who give it a chance and are fans enough of the world find a satisfying uh story and gameplay you know 
a satisfying yeah. find satisfying gameplay and a you know a rich story that probably hopefully fills that void because we all know jk rowling is not going to be doing that for us anytime soon uh moving on anything any other games you guys want to mention from the ps5 uh showcase before we uh, get to the next bit yeah yeah speak yeah uh, i think we uh there are two big titles that we have to talk about uh, one of them, of course, is Fortnite. No, just kidding. There's Fortnite on PS5, <laughs> but what? Of course, this is a big one. This is Final Fantasy 16. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah. That looks good. <laughs> Bright, yeah. Because it's yeah. goth. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, from what we have seen in the trailer, this has a bit, a bit more serious story to it. Oh yeah. Then, mm -hmm. uh, well, then the past Final Fantasies. Whoa, that's a. That's real different Final Fantasy. Oh, <laughs> that's not the Final Fantasy I've well, seen. <laughs> it was the beginning. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, but yeah. So it's from the looks of based from the logo itself, the conflict will be around, centered around um, icons or summons, as they are more popularly known, particularly Ifrit and um, Ifrit and Phoenix. With of course Ifrit coming out of that child. Uh, who got triggered by, I guess, one of his retainers getting killed and their kingdom being invaded. And um, the main character, of course, is, you know, as as Final Fantasy she is as they come. Yeah. With, <laughs> with that gloomy look and the dark past and the light, uh, rather the lively past and then the dark brooding um, current uh, personality. Yep. And, and from what I've heard, it's the producer, I think, or director of ff uh 14 that's heading this one yoshi so, p yeah yoshi p so we are really oh. yeah so we're bound to have, see elements of that uh, in the game but other than that combat seems to be uh reminiscent of ff15 there is some teleporting going on around and uh yeah kind of reminds me of noctis and as for the other aspects of the story that i've seen they're going it will be a bit more political i guess as you know some final fantasy final fantasy titles tend to go during their uh in their world building but yeah everything's great so far that marl borrow in the demo is so scary i've never seen right? Marl borrow that's scary in my <laughs> life. Borrow, a cigarette? i wish yeah, it were this... just a cigarette but it's one of the scariest monsters yeah. that you can encounter in the game yeah uh, because it's... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Elgin. I was gonna say it's it's yeah. Marlboro because it's a big thing that has its its famous attack is called bad breath. And if you and just put two and two together, oh, you you get you'll get what <laughs> why it's called that. But anyway, <laughs> why? And you see a guy on a, you see a guy with really? a cowboy hat riding it. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> I have yet to see that. Are there Marlboro mods in in Final Fantasy fourteen? We can make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, uh, I wish Square would just make a Blitzball game. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I gotta point game. that out. <laughs> I can't figure out, even figure out the original Blitz, how to play the original Blitzball. I don't think I can figure it out. It's a numbers it. thing, yeah. pretty much. Oh. That's RNG. Easy, easy. Yeah. Let me throw you this. Let me throw you this hypothetical, all right? Okay, okay, okay. S Square makes the Blitzball game. Yeah. But it's iOS only. Would you would you would you do it? Would you would you bite the bullet and get an iOS device? Oh my god, iOS only? Of course not. Well, if Square Would wanted to make more money, the game. If 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 Square wanted to make more money, they'd probably put it on the Play Store and on Steam. Be, be real, let's be real here. I'll say that. But I, if it was iOS, no, oh, I wouldn't okay. go that far. Okay. Okay. All right. Anything else, guys, for yes. PlayStation Showcase? Not for PlayStation, but but Miko what? did mention this. He said Fortnite, right? Uh, oh, I did I? Oh, you did. No, I slipped or something. Okay, because of the slip, I have to say this, and I, I'm pretty sure some people in chat will know about this. My God, guys, Fortnite is having a virtual concert this weekend. The heck? Guess which okay. band is performing. Oh, it's BTS. Yes, it? it is. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fortnite, uh, just so I can watch. Uh, oh, the plot god. twist. You at are night, hooked, man. You 20, are. It's September 25 and 26. They're going to have a virtual concert of BTS on Fortnite. So I'm going to play Fortnite. Can you shoot them? 
<laughs> no, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be shoot them. But like, oh my god, I'm gonna. I'm oh. installing Ep- the Epic Game um, Launcher. I am downloading Fortnite just to try this out. Cause like, ugh, I want to see what this goes. Um, does Does Jago need a come to Jesus moment? Like, this is this is getting out of hand, you know? <laughs> no. Hey man, whatever let's put him as a boat, dude. <laughs> yeah, let's put him on. Let's put him as sus for a while and, and see what happens. Yeah, right. <laughs> but Mika, how can you deny? How can fine? I may be a suspect, but how can you also say? that you are not an imposter what is your alibi to this you're the one who pressed the button Um, oh no 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 no. let's stop i'm dumb (laughs) oh (laughs) Oh my god oh dude (laughs) would an imposter say otherwise like i I believe miko uh diego you are you are being ejected (laughs) (laughs) he was not an imposter (laughs) oh no (laughs) <laughs> okay, so yeah, one last big title before we can move on with our lives. So as far as scary titles go, mm-hmm. there are a lot oh, of yes. choices right now, but what tops all of them is the new Five Nights at Freddy's secure no, it's Resident uh, Evil <laughs> Village. I mean Five Nights at Freddy's was also at the event, but it yes, was that's... there though. Which I am I honestly actually very interested on. They have a bigger venue, that's for sure. You're interested in Five Nights at Freddy's or, or The Village? The Five Nights at Freddy's, sorry. I'm just, waiting, okay. I'm just gonna wait for MatPat to do a game theory about it and then... Oh yeah, yeah. I've been watching <laughs> those. That's actually what got me interested into that franchise. But yeah, Resident yeah. Evil, uh, Village, again, you, um, I guess the newest. I don't know where it, where it, uh, where it stacks in the Resident Evil timeline, mm-hmm. but yeah, the, the atmosphere is just so... Well, Resident Evil E. Yeah. It's like they're fighting werewolves or something, right? Something I am like not that, so yeah. sure. I mean, they seem very werewolf-esque, but, you know, the T-virus turns things into weird shit anyway, so, I mean, they could be zombie werewolves for all we care, I mean, you know I, what I mean? At this point, I don't think Resident Evil remembers what a zombie is. <laughs> I, I, yeah. yeah, it's a very flexible term nowadays. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, it became like slug things, like, you know, the, 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 what was it? The Ouroboros. It was like slug tentacle things yeah. that possessed mm-hmm. whatever. And then what was, what were they in Resident Evil 6? Was it 6? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I mean, it, I remember it, in 4, it was Las Plagas. And then five was Ouroboros, and six, I don't even know what it was. Or like, oh, point. sorry, in seven, sorry, the first person one, it became psychic related. Oh, right, yeah. I don't, I don't yeah, I haven't played seven, so I, I really can't say. But like, yeah, they were going Silent Hill, like it became all Silent Hill esque out of nowhere, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, and I really don't know where it's going. I, I, I just know like eight chronologically and not just because it's numbered eight i think it's chronologically after seven uh but i'm again i can't really say for sure <laughs> yeah <clears throat> anyway but yeah uh, resident evil 8 seems interesting all right harold go for it what, what am i going for miko <laughs> uh kill this awkward boss that's gonna happen <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, real quick, guys, I just saw this pop up on my YouTube, and uh, apparently uh, there's a trailer out now. That was breaking news. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, breaking news. There's a new trailer out for No Man's Sky Origins. Sorry, No Man's Sky Origin. Aww. What? Uh, Wait, yeah, it's this thing? It's like I have no, no idea Man's what Sky? this is, so we're, we're watching it live. Wow. Uh, right. Whoa! It looks pretty. I, I mean, it's there are still other the characters now. Okay. Oh. Uh-huh. Right. Wow, it's colorful. Is this ball. like a, a PS5 planet. update? Oh my god, there's an NPC. Pl- it's like a whole grimace. Is it multiplayer? Oh my god, did they finally fix multiplayer? Oh, they it's been it's been multiplayer for a while now, dude. Oh man, I've been I've <laughs> yeah. been out of the loop then. Yeah. Uh, it's a way yeah, to planet. Yeah, you know, purple flora. We're seeing animals around, different different wildlife. He's on a ship now. I, I don't know what we're looking at, guys. Can someone enlighten me? Can someone in the chat enlighten me on what, what what's going on? Well, at least it ain't the other Star ships Citizen. taking off. At least it ain't Star Ooh. Citizen. <laughs> Ooh, savage. I mean, I I don't know what else to tell you that you already don't know, Harold. Um, like the thing about I mean, No Man's Sky has been updating for quite some time now, and yeah. Uh, 
I'm not sure if this is a new new update. Oh, those jellyfish are new. I, I haven't seen yeah, those. They're doing a very like they have exosuits. Now? What is this? Oh my god. What? That's new. <laughs> are the space battles new? I know space <laughs> battles have uh, have been updated. Um, well, they've been in the game for a while. Now they have the giant space worm things. This giant three by three right there, man. Just, just, <laughs> <laughs> just in time for Dune. Okay. Right. Okay. Interesting. That's interesting. Promising. Actually, it looks really cool. promising. Oh man. Now that's the No Man's Sky we were promised at launch. You know okay. what I mean? <laughs> So apparently, uh, No Man's Sky Origins adds new worlds, new terrain, new weather, and giant sandworms. And Four mechs. years later, or I think exoskeletons yeah. rather. Oh, that is so dope! Yeah. I want, I want yeah. it. <laughs> Iron Hammer and Shaz, is it too late for love? No, it is not too late to talk about BTS and their it appearance. It's never too Mexico. late for love, Iron Hammer. Never, <laughs> <laughs> never. You made it oh, just no. in time. Okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, quick question. Hmm. Did anyone here get a chance to buy one of two things over the past week? <laughs> uh -oh. PlayStation 5 oh. or an NVIDIA RT RTX 3080? Uh, no and no. No. <laughs> and I can tell you from personal experience, no. Elder, can you tell us what's been going on in the world of uh, ordering on the internet? So long story short, um, well, especially with the RTX 3080, we have seen the most unprecedented launch in uh, GPU history, where we've we've seen a the, you know a GPU sell out literally seconds after it was lo uh, essentially launched on the website. So if you went on Nvidia's website on the 21st, I believe was it yeah the 21st, uh, 7 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Um, you know, that was supposedly the launch of um, uh, the Nvi uh, the 3080 Founders Edition. And you could have picked one up at the NVIDIA website for $699.99. And um, give or take, within a 30 seconds, you had a 30 second window to actually purchase one of those graphics cards. <laughs> and if you miss that, forget it. You, you're, you're SOL because they sold out immediately afterwards. Um, I can tell you from personal experience, I was up at the crack of dawn at 7 a.m. or even earlier, I was up at like 6.30 a.m. on uh, September 21st, waiting for that graphics card to launch. And I know some people said um, there was a 30 second, uh, about a 30 second window for it after seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. But for me, I checked at 6.57 a.m. and it already said it was sold out before the launch time of 7 o'clock. So I, I, was, I, I was pretty infuriated by that, mainly because I'm like very due for an upgrade. My PC is still sitting on a 970, you know, GTX, and I needed an upgrade. And as for why this has happened, I, I know I, I see Iron Hammer in the stream asking, um, or mentioning the bot issue, yes, it was bots. Um, a lot of, a lot of people have been, you know, writing bot scripts to buy out all of the stock of the GTX or RTX 3080 on launch day, and no retailer was safe. Nvidia's website was pretty much um, bombarded with them. Newegg lost all of their stock in the first 30 minutes, 30 seconds. Uh, I'm trying to think. Best Buy lost all of their stock at the, pretty much the same amount of time. No matter where you looked it was gone and it is horrific <laughs> like we're talking a 30 second window to buy this and even if you did try within that window good luck getting through to the page because if you have that many you know that many connections at the same time you're bound to get four or four errors every time yeah. you try to refresh you know what i mean so yeah it was rough you guys like what do you guys think what do you guys think of this sale so far <laughs> i think it's ridiculous and we already mentioned the bots uh these bots were actually from uh a group i don't know if they're actually a legitimate company i think they are a company called bounce alerts and bounce alerts bots are were initially conceptualized to aid their quote-unquote consumers in obtaining sneakers for their for their personal use Supposedly, that's that's what that's what these bots are for. You pay like seventy five dollars, 
uh, I think a year to get access to all these different types of bots and you let them loose on the website and they just keep refreshing and trying to buy the shoes for you. And the same company made a program or uh, made these bots for purchasing the GTX 3080, sorry, the RTX 3080s. I think it's crazy. Okay, resellers, oh, yeah. in my opinion, are not that great for consumers. Oh, and, no. and it, it, I'm coming from someone who wants both rare sneakers and, well, they become rare because of all these resellers, who wants, you know, sneakers that are really nice, like, like Jordan 1s. But they get sold out really quick because when I go to Titan, which is our local, like, sneaker sneaker retailer for Nike and all that, there's already a line of people looking to resell them. Way ahead of me. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> so, it's not fun. And the fact that it's starting to cross over into the, the video game world or the PC building world, it's, it's really frustrating for me because I... I, I don't like the fact that people are profiting off of, you know, other people's need or, you know, want to get something on day one. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And, and, and it's not like these people are putting, like, you know, 10% on top of these. Still kind of, okay, 20%, 30%, maybe. These people are doubling the price. Some of them are oh, going yes. 200%, 300%, 400%, 500%. I, I, I was seeing listings way higher and you know for, for various reasons whether it's also bots combating other bots trying to drive up the price so these resellers don't make any money but it's just stupid I, I really do not like this practice of reselling because in the end it inflates prices artificially it gives people way more stress than they should in, in just buying a pair of shoes or a graphics card that should be readily available in stores and yeah that's my opinion. I, I do not like it. I really don't. Mm -hmm. And the unfortunate reality of this is, you know, bots are the future. Unfortunately, this is going to this is going to be a trend now. And yeah. any future releases of any hot new commodity, expect this to happen now from now on, because there really is no effective way to combat it. You could. It's funny because a lot of people are suggesting that. You know they limit purchases to one per household um you know they're Oof. asking for captcha to come back to you know like captcha is becoming the hero gotham needs right now but <laughs> i mean i can't say like i can't say for sure that you know it's really Captain going to work captcha. you know <laughs> like it's just it's it's unfortunate because like i said this is the this is the kind of crap we're gonna have to deal with from now on you know what i mean yeah Oh my God, Ram, Ram and Chat's like, I guess you can say that they bought those out. Oh, God. <laughs> they did bought those out. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, oh, no. And now he's even, he, he, he's putting on another level. <laughs> I, we gotta capture the bots. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. Bless you, sir. Bless, yes. Those those are the CSI worthy puns right there. <laughs> yeah. But I mean for real though, like no product is safe. Like to transition over, the PS5 uh shared in the same fate. So yeah. PS5 pre-orders pretty much went live uh I think a couple of days before or after like relatively soon before or after the Nvidia was launched and it you cannot pre-order them anymore. They've essentially ran out like this they've run out of uh they've already run out of pre-orders which is absurd to say the least you know what i mean um i think news from the grapevine uh like coming from the grapevine saying you know x the xbox series x and s also sold out on pre-orders as well for the same reason you know it's it's a nightmare you know you can't you can't really get these anymore <laughs> because people have yeah. been scalping them to no end and, and it's unfortunate I mean, I, that there are some people that are willing to pay these inflated prices because they want it day one, which only oh, yes. encourages these resellers. Oh, absolutely. And it's just, it's, it's absurd, you know, like there's just no, 
I mean, there's just no control anymore, you know? It's it's a free-for-all at this rate, you know? Capitalism, like, man. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. I, I'm just... I'm just looking through eBay right now just to look at what pricing is available right now. And it's just, yeah. it's absurd, man. Like you said it, $800, well, $1,400, $1,399. Yeah. I mean- Some of them going as high as I think, uh, yeah. the legitimate ones going as high as like $5,000. And then you yep. get those absurd ones being inflated by the, the good guy bots going up to $80,000. Yeah, it's, so... it's unfortunate. Twenty-five thousand. Oh my God. Whew. It's just. Oh, this is this is bad, you guys. <laughs> I mean, DZ uh, Mikufi. I know that I was complaining earlier about having to pay like fifteen thousand pesos more, which is around three hundred dollars, for an RTX 3080 when they land here on our shores. Uh, but that seems to pale in comparison to to the amount of additional dollarage the the americans and North, <laughs> you know canadians and, and europeans are having to pay for for this hardware it's just I don't know, it's just an absurd amount to pay although some of those uh what do you call this uh buying the art the those video cards at a very high price might have yeah. a reason to do so for example they want to be the first uh to review it on uh on youtube channels or other uh, websites were in they could probably make a return on it if no, if they got enough okay. views so that's probably one of those customers but for those who have who are just who just want to get it just for the sake of having one uh day one it's it kind of baffles me still like and you're well, talking about the people we... buying from the resellers right at these inflated prices yeah and... yeah i mean yeah. i mean um if i can't imagine a an immediate need for those cards to be honest especially if you're coming from one of the higher end models from last year yeah definitely yeah. and i'm seeing that like this has become a trend in the past week jay's two cents linus a bunch of them were talking about how they weren't able to get cards for themselves on day one jay's two cents mm -hmm. is a reviewer you know so so he he legitimately buys these cards and and tests them out to review and he had like a whole 20 minute episode with a friend or I think a co-worker where they just talk about how their experience like Elgin had of trying to buy one of these cards. And it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Yeah. yeah. So, I, yeah. I mean, NVIDIA is trying their best to restock as best as they can. They say every two days you can try. <laughs> They're saying this, you can try to buy one every two days because we'll be restocking them. But supplies are limited so if you can get one good job if you can't it's not on us we tried you know what i mean yeah it's so bad oh god it's just so bad really gotten to that point yeah. yeah and uh you know guys i want to move away from this topic now all right we we know yeah. it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get a 3080 but luckily the four of us have no immediate need we, we're not reviewing it we're not you know, in charge of any content related to the 3080 anytime soon. So let's talk about other, other ways to waste your money. Oh. Let's talk about other ways to. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I just like playing a uh, random, random news anchors uh, in, in the background <laughs> while I talk to you guys. Other ways to waste money, like spending seven point five billion dollars cash money on a whole set of companies. Elgin, take us through this. Right. So Microsoft spent $7.58 billion on Bethesda Softworks. Like there's, a, I don't know if the deal is confirmed or not, but that is essentially what they're looking to pay to buy out, you know, the, the, the guys behind Elder Scrolls and Fallout and the Fallout series of games. And I mean, I don't know about you guys, but that sounds huge to me. Um, Xbox desperately needs like first party developers of some, you know, of some renown. Uh, as, as of now, they only have Obsidian, but with Bethesda, they've pretty much cornered the market on action RPGs. If you think about it, you know, between Obsidian and Bethesda, that that's two powerhouses in that, uh, what do you call this in, in the action RPG space. And yeah, this could be huge, but at the same time, but this track record hasn't exactly been great lately, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. So I don't even play a single Bethesda game that's on that list <laughs> of their games. Really? No. 
No, no Fallout. No, have, you, have you played Skyrim at least? Like, I'm not sure even. You... I hate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get so. I'm gonna get crucified mm -hmm. for this. I don't. I hate it, Skyrim. Really? I mean, no. I, I mean, you get no judgment from me, my guy. Like that, I understand. <laughs> I hate, yeah, not a game. Like the most I played was Doom. I didn't even finish it. I know it was great, but that's it. But yeah, I, I agree. With you. Bethesda has not been in. It's not in the best light right now. So maybe new management will fix things. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely a lot of speculation on that matter because they're buying Bethesda from under Zenimax Media, who I, I believe is their their parent, well, not parent company, but like their publisher. And now Microsoft is taking the reins from that, I think. Mm -hmm. And who knows that, like you said, under new management, they might, they might start, you know, pumping out good quality content, you know? And, or, you know, they could start working with Obsidian again. Who knows? It time will only time will tell, but there's just a lot, you know, so we'll see. Yeah. But what do you yeah. what, what else was, do you guys think? Who, who said that? Who who did that? She said we'll see. We'll, I said that. We'll see. Oh we'll see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. We'll yeah, it, it'll take some time. Kind of like the Activision Blizzard merger uh buyout thing. Took us some time to realize what happened there. Uh, and, and now we're paying the consequences. Just like DZ, mm -hmm. BlizzCon this year. <gasps> I like the pun that they made. Get your shades ready. Oh no. Is my, am I gonna do it? They called it BlizzCon Line. Yeah. Oh dear God, I'm not even, I'm gonna leave the chat now. I'll see you guys later. Oh man, yeah, let me just uh, get, yeah, okay, I'm done. I'm, I've had enough of this it's good to see you, Elgin. It's, it's good to see you, buddy. Oh my god, I love this show. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it is called BlizzCon Line. And it's going to happen not in November when it usually does. It's going to be from Feb 19 to Feb 20. Two days online in 2021. What can Blizzard do this time around, DZ, to turn the tides in their favor? Because in the past two BlizzCons, it's all been phones and <laughs> disappointment. And the, the first comment I saw on that promotional material was like, wow, we can watch it. At least we can watch it on our phones. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Blizzard should embrace <laughs> that. They should like, for everyone who watches this on their phones, they get like free something. Dude, they should. They, if, if they, they embrace were smart, it, yes. yeah, they should if embrace they smart, it. Yeah, they would embrace it. They, 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 they'd make fun of themselves. Like, we know they would have back in the day. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yep. <laughs> All right, so, uh, right now, not much hope. Not much hope for, for BlizzCon line. But who knows? Let's wait and see, and maybe we'll get a couple of surprises here and there. But speaking of back in the day, DZ, a little throwback, if you will. A little mm -hmm. bit of news to give you a little hope in this post-pandemic, mid-pandemic world. Mike Morheim, former CEO of Activision Blizzard, former heartthrob of the Blizzard offices. A guy that you know, we pinned a lot of our hopes on. Simply put, he's, he's the guy responsible of all the games he played back in the 90s. Yeah, all the Blizzard you know, he, he had a, Yeah, co-founder of Blizzard, Mike Morhead. He's founded a new company. Ooh. Yes. Do tell, Harold. All right. <laughs> called Dreamhaven. Mm. And it's going to be the parent company for two other companies. Mm. All right. Th okay, stop. This parent okay. has already... <laughs> This parent has already gotten Godzilla on us and laid some eggs without getting down and busy. Okay. okay. Oh, real quick, I want to give a shout out to Archer who was in the chat earlier. I think we missed his message. So, uh, Archer, if you're still there, I love you, buddy. Miss you. Miss you. The guy's busy. The guy's busy. <laughs> All right. So, DZ, Dreamhaven is going to be the parent company to two new studios, like we mentioned, Moonshot, led by Jason Chase, who's also former Blizzard executive. All right, oh. he used to work on StarCraft 2, here's the Storm, you know, uh, Dustin Browder, who I'm familiar with for his time at World of Warcraft, and Ben Thompson, who we might know from, uh, as, as one of the other Bens from Hearthstone, all That's right? Yeah. Before, before yeah. Ben and Ben in the Philippines, there was Ben and Ben in Irvine, California, okay? 
Uh, and he was one of them. So Moonshot being led by those guys. Secret Door is their other company being led by former Hearthstone exec executive Chris Siggity. Siggity Siggity. Uh, also former Hearthstone game director Eric Dodds. And former Blizzard technical director and game director Alan DeBeery. Who a lot of people would also know from the World of Warcraft side. So a lot of former Blizzard employees and members. Just like... And second, second dinner. I was gonna say second breakfast. Uh, second dinner, <laughs> right? Right, easy. Second dinner. Did I get that right? Second, second breakfast. No, no. The 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 the, the, comp, the uh, they're making that Marvel game with Ben Brode. Someone help me out here. Second dinner. Uh, I don't remember honestly. I, I'll look and, it up real quick. Yeah. So. Uh. It it cuts off a key it's second. Exact. Yeah, second. Yeah, it is dinner. second dinner. It is yeah, second, second dinner, dinner, yes. We talked about them on uh, on the show before. So, I have hope. I want to see what games they make. These guys are, again, the reason we have Warcraft and Starcraft and Hots and all of those games. So, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Miku P, you have any opinions on this as uh, someone who loves Hearthstone? Oh, yeah. Loved... Uh, number one, uh, to, uh, just a quick, uh, what do you call this? opinion from the blizzard article earlier uh, from the blizzard discussion earlier i think the only thing keeping blizzard afloat right now is just how good their current games are like even as someone who vowed not to play any other blizzard game at the moment i still i still have lean and lingering feelings about going back into hearthstone <laughs> thankfully there are other games that keeps uh what they call this uh thankfully i have other options now but that just goes to show how powerful of a hold uh, the the mm -hmm. previous Blizzard franchises are. So yeah. going into Dreamhaven right now, um, I'm very much into supporting um, what Mike Morham does. Compared to J. Allen Brack, man, the other guys are punchable. <laughs> you oh mean video God. games is Steven Whoa. Seagal, Nico P? Oh my God. <laughs> that makes it doubly more punchable. <laughs> Dude, he, might, he might roundhouse kick you, man. Sorry. Uh, he, he if it's a one like for one trade, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And anyway, yeah. But uh, again, we have to be careful still. I mean, um, two things we have to watch out for is number one, how many, of course, Steven how Seagal. many shares does Tencent have in this company? And Ooh, number two. Okay. And wow. number two is, of course, we know Mike Morham uh, created some really good games, but we have to keep, uh, we have to watch out if he is still in touch with what is currently resonating with gamers nowadays but of course given uh... his fast track record we have we have every reason to believe that he knows what gamers want or at least he can craft things that we didn't think we'd want but you know discovered that we really like it yeah yeah, hmm. yeah. It, it, it i mean as much as you want to get behind him yeah i could feel that you know the landscape still changes i mean you'd have to you have to admit i'm pretty sure a vast majority let's just i mean being real here the lowest common denominator of their fans probably do not even know who he is. Let's, let's be real. The only reason the I knew about Mike... common denominator of the their lowest, fans? The lowest denominator of the fans of Blizzard, sorry. Like the lo let's put it like, oh, no. Uh, Everyone knows Mike Morham from, like, mm -hmm. because of his appearances at BlizzCon. I don't know. Like, well, no, I think it, that's my point here. Like, Harold, I did not know about Mike Morham until you told me about him. That's all. Oh, okay. That's what you so, mean. Okay. The common folk. I'm saying, even me. So I'm like, I did not know about any of these people peasants. until you started telling me. Yeah, telling me about it. That's the thing. That's the sad part. That's did why... you just say peasants? Not wow. me. He did. <laughs> this guy did. That's me. hilarious. I mean, I, I love mean, how he yeah. looked away too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like just kidding. Yeah. So yeah, Sorry. like um, as much as I want to get behind, I mean, I will back it. I will back everything now that I know who is behind this and I have appreciation for the developers and everything, but it may not still bode well in their favor because the vast majority do not still might not know who these people really are. I could be wrong with that. I could oh, be no, wrong. I mean, it's, it's not about their laurels, I think is, is what we've, we've learned as well. It's, it's what they come out with. Right. Yeah. So well, we're, mm -hmm. we're aware of these guys because of what they've done in the past. But we're not gonna, we're not necessarily gonna give them a free pass the second they release the game. I think that's something we've proven with other studios. You know, we we didn't give uh, Bethesda a free pass when they came out with one of the again uh, most disappointing games in recent history. Mm. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't think that what they, who they are, will be a hindrance. I think if anything, right. people will the find out about their themselves. games. Yeah, yeah, like quicker. Yeah. Uh, which is also a double-edged sword because people will also find out that it's crappy if it is crappy. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. If anything, it just gives them an advantage in terms of you know this very crowded mm. space that we have now for video games, uh, a space where. It's gonna take a lot to be noticed on Steam. It's gonna take a lot to be noticed on oh, yeah. different platforms. So yeah, I uh, I see where you're coming from. You know, uh, the worry of people automatically giving these guys the benefit of the doubt. But if anything, we've learned that uh, something like Marvel's Avengers won't get a free pass. Oh yes. So <laughs> yeah, just because of the name. So yeah, mm. I oh yeah, King Tiger in the chat says. Uh, Jay Onbrack did say you don't want, you think you do, but you don't when, no, uh, when, when people were asking for a classic wow. And, uh, yeah. again, the Steven Seagal of video games backtracked on that. So let's, uh, I, I just need excuses to call it out. I just need, I just need excuses to call this guy the Steven Seagal of video games because come on, man, this guy looks like he's ready to star. Oh, don't make, pu don't make me punch my monitor hair. <laughs> I just, I just bought it this week. <laughs> oh god! When you play that maze game, it's not the scary face that come out that comes out. It's J. Allen Brack. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and then you wreck your monitor either way. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you guys will find that J. Allen Brack is actually quite hard to kill. All right, he's a uh, he might be out for justice on deadly ground. But uh, in the end, he's still running Blizzard. Oh, human panic yeah. saying punch the screen, Mikui. Punch the screen! Punch the screen! No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, no! <laughs> Resist. Resist the pandering. Resist the urge, sir. <laughs> but, but there are there are supporters. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do it for the fans. <laughs> got to do it for the fans. The only fans. Uh, guys. Oh, right. Yes. And then, <laughs> I think that's it. I think we've done our our jobs this week of talking about video game news. We've been fairly disappointed with NVIDIA and PS5 sales. Uh, not because they haven't had any, but because we the general public can't five. get any. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I think that's it. I think we've done our job. Anything else you guys want to mention before we wrap things up? Hmm. Um, I mean, I think we covered everything, but... I'm just, ugh. I just want a 3080 already, mate. I, I need to upgrade this thing, you know? If, if you are in the 900 series of graphics cards, yes, blessing to upgrade. But if you're, if, for me, if you're in the 10,000s and you're just going to game, no need. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm sorely due for an upgrade because I want to stream and play good stuff. So, yeah. I'm I'm just waiting for it. Oh, and and do video editing too, so I can have some content for you guys. You know yeah. what I mean? I see. Oh yes. I just, I just tell everyone. Yeah, I'm gonna get it for video editing, so I have a good excuse to upgrade. <laughs> oh man, that's yeah. how I got all of this. I swear, I'm I'm just editing videos. I'm making content for Clint Stone. <laughs> all right. I, yeah. I definitely need a two. I definitely need a 240 hertz monitor for that. Okay. I I need to see the frames. <laughs> I need to see the frames. Don't don't say my lines, Harold. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> oh man. Uh Iron Hammer Stream says I'm still on the 900 series. My NVENC is old. Baby, I can't I can barely make NVENC work these days. But I, I need to do, do a PC. Sheezy knows. She's uh, uh so Fox knows. Uh King Tiger says just wait for just wait after AMD announces in October. Oh. AMD is due for a couple of announcements. Everyone's uh holding their breath. For that, you know, gotta wait, gotta wait. Uh, a lot of, oh, I love the active chat. Iron Hammer says, I swear NVIDIA is so good for H.264 right now. <laughs> a lot of people use a uh, recording software. I, I realize our our target demo knows knows our pains as well. So, <laughs> appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Bimo in the chat says, can we call his new project Small Indie Company? Okay, small indie company Dreamhaven is, is legitimately a small indie company. I, I like that. Uh, Chill Fox says, how are we going to shoot the enemy hiding in the grass 
when we're <laughs> editing. <laughs> okay, here. Very good point. I will. Ad- if you can render a video while playing a video game, then then I'll admit. Fine, get the 380. <laughs> Cycle in chat. Ask us. Are you guys from the Philippines? We may Just... or may not be. No, yeah, most of us are. Yeah, we're from. Uh... The... Well, oh yeah, Elgin's from the Netherlands. <laughs> yes, we're from the Netherlands. <laughs> we're bigger than the Netherlands, still. Yes. Uh, we're bigger than the Netherlands. Yes, uh... we are from the Philippines, except for one guy. Who's that's why it's so bright in his monitor. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Because I'm so white, that's why. It... No, <laughs> <laughs> no, because because you speak good English. And... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I swear. <laughs> the next time someone asks us that, we should, we should, we should, you know, g- give them like a okay. Guess which one of us isn't in the Philippines right now? Right, exactly. Yeah. It's me, or me. <laughs> no, just... and maybe we should just try speaking in Tagalog just to see, just show them why we choose to speak in English instead. Well, I can't oh. speak for you guys, dude. I... <laughs> you speak good English. <laughs> Okay, Dexter. Let's uh, let's calm it down. <laughs> I'm just reading. I'm just reading Iron Hammer. What he what he typed down. I love it. With English. Uh, <laughs> okay, lang yan, okay, lang yan. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's end the show, naman. guys. Nos blood. Oh Nos, Nos blood. blood. <laughs> <laughs> I I say don't don't ask me to speak Tagalog. I I'm really bad at it now. <laughs> anyway, moving on. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> thank you for the follow. So, all right, let's wrap things up. We want to thank all our, all our most recent followers, like Sil, like Zuka underscore Live, Swolvida, O Nazuka, R Design, Rigo Rigo Rigo, Mendiola, Cubicle, Leoni, Jinko Veloba. Please stay in our follows forever. And Ina HG, thank you all for the follows. Uh, anyone want to read up our? Uh, or, or subs? Huh? Here's I'll, Panda. I'll, I can read the subs, but I just want to point out Iron Hammer and stream is like, uh, he says, This people is spoken in dollar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, don't have me dying. <laughs> our, our subs, right? Did you take a screenshot of the sub list? No, because you said you were ready, so. I... Okay, I'm ready. All right, I can see it. I can see it here. The subs. All right, so Human Panda, okay. number one. Ran Sishu. Bimo King of Woo, Miko P, Nerf Diva, Sensei Humor, N- The Notorious KGM, Insta DZ, Ion Hammer Stream, Denunci, Wisa, Neo Gear, Shell Fox, The Fury Bot, New Mali, who is now New Visual, Zephy Buns, It's Mark Lester B, Mikhail Roldan, Bobby Australia, and Ati1900. Thank you guys for subbing us and providing Harold with the finances to run the show. <laughs> It, it takes a lot to run this village and we also want to thank all our subscribers that we didn't mention because we know a lot of people have subscribed at least once and uh probably don't make the randomness of the top 20 but thank you guys all the same i also want to thank our bit cheerers Cheer- bit cheerers uh Bitcher. like our most recent <laughs> bit cheers where is that instant easy and shell box <laughs> with one bit each wait what you happened guys- to our bit list <laughs> Oh, I, I, I trimmed it down. I trimmed it down. Got uh, we, we have a lot. We have, we have a lot of people that we want to thank for from for helping us over the years, like Nerf Diva. All right, like No Plays, like Neo Gear, Elder Jin, Mikhail Rodan, Bimo King of Woo, Oris Twenty Seven, Miko P, who bought his way onto the show. Uh, if not now, <laughs> go ahead. Mercy, Game of Call, Hue, Insta DZ, who's been here since day one. Pimpo Perp drank Tita Gaming's The Real VJ Dato, who apparently continues to be a VJ and a Dato at the same time. Kebu TV underscore Visa <laughs> is Curry Server, Clip Song's Best Grill, and uh, Aaron Gaming under- Aaron underscore Gaming 441. We love you all. It's a DZ with another bit, taking his total for the month to two, baby. Two, count them two <laughs> bits for the <laughs> do month. I hear three? Do I hear three? <laughs> do I hear three? <laughs> Do I hear three? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in and checking us out, and we hope you enjoyed your time. But if you want to see more of these faces outside of Game Bite, well, Miku P, why don't you start us off? Where can people find you when you're not on this weekly show? 
Okay, so when I'm not buying my way into any podcasts and other shows in your vicinity, <laughs> you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash mikop. And more importantly, you can find the, the Twitter account of my virtual character on Twitter as well. So that's at Kopilalas, K-O-P-I-L-A-L-A-S. If you want to see some Lalafell action, the good one, of course. And yeah, that's it for me. How about you, DZ? Where can people find you? People can find me on Instagram. It's at InstaDZ. Also on Twitter, uh, Facebook. That's facebook.com slash Diego.Zuluaga, I think. Yeah. Also, if you guys want colonizer food, you can check out my food page with this facebook.com slash tapas style and on Instagram at tapas style as well. Selling Spanish tapas and will be selling paellas probably next month. But yes, please check that out. And oh my God, I need to cut off my my spiel right now because Iron Hammer, Iron Hammer just cheered us on with 100 bits and he's after that badge. Thank you, Iron Hammer. Did he get, did he get the badge? He got the badge. He got, he got the, badge. the badge, baby. He got the badge. badge. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, how about man? He the man. He the man. And Harry's man. man. How about you, Elgin? Where can the fine folks at home find you? Uh, the fine folks at home can find me only in one spot right now, uh, outside of Game Byte anyway, uh, at uh, twitch.tv slash elderjin. Um, I, I'm kind of on a hiatus at the moment, just so I can upgrade this computer and when I finally get my hands on a 3080. So hint, hint. yeah, hint, hint, wink, wink, NVIDIA, please. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, I suppose you can find me on the Quit Stalling Discord. Uh, we do have a Discord up and running, uh, and if you folks yeah. are interested in joining, please uh, join us there. Uh, let me see if I can get it. There we go. Yep, there's the Discord on the chat. Um, and for you, Harold, where can the fine folks at home find you? Y'all can catch me at Twitter and on Instagram at Harold Plays. That's H E R A L D P L A Y S. That's right. It's spelled like Hark the Herald and not Harold Berman from Hey Arnold. Harold. You heard it right. H E R A L D Plays on Twitter and on Instagram. You can catch me on the Quit Slowing Geek Cast. Sundays, Manila, 1 p.m., where we talk about all things geek and pop culture, like The Boys, out now on Amazon Prime. And uh, I think that's about it. We, we have a bunch of videos lined up, so you guys will see me there as well. So uh, stay tuned, pay attention, and uh, click that bell icon when you subscribe. Uh, aside from that, oh, you guys can catch us on Facebook, facebook.com slash us, and on Twitter, at quitstallingus. Miko P, where can people at home find us on YouTube and Twitch and Instagram? So, if you frequent Twitter and Facebook, you can find us. No, no, it's, it's in, uh, YouTube, Twitch, and Instagram. Oh, sorry. Who's going to read it <laughs> left to right? <laughs> man. Okay. I already read the first ones. I did already? Okay, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Another yeah, person on Facebook. Pay- <laughs> you know what? You know what? Y'all don't deserve this. Y'all don't deserve <laughs> Now, Miko P, go ahead, buddy. Okay, so because I'm going to get probably fired after this, you can find us on YouTube, Twitch, and Instagram at Quit Stalling. That's right, people. Head on over to YouTube.com slash Quit Stalling, Twitch.tv slash Quit Stalling is where you're watching us live weekly. And of course, on Instagram for our stories because we got some some good stuff in, in, in the pipeline. Ain't that right, DZ? Kung Fu Hack! Yes, definitely a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Oh, Kung Fu, a bit of a teaser there. Cobra Kai, am I right? That gives me an idea. Oh my god, now that you mentioned karate? it. Some karate. 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 Oh. Real karate. Or as, uh, as SpongeBob would say, DZ, karate. Karate with the foam hands. Errol, I just realized I can I can always I can decorate my streams now by putting the crown of Fall Guys on my microphone. You're welcome. Yes, or I can just put, put it, as, I can put it as an accessory, like those ring things that they put on the Oh thing. my god, can we not mention that? That's disgusting. Okay, let's... <laughs> Wait, what? What? Yeah. I, just, I just said we can just put it on... We can put it on as a, like a ring on the things. Oh my gosh, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week. Same by time, same by channel. Till then... Get off your butts and quit stall. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.